So let's talk about posterior myocardial infarctions. And it's very simple to understand simply because 80% of the patients that we're gonna run into are right coronary dominant or right dominant. That means is that this right coronary artery that's running just like so is actually gonna not only feed the anterior portions of this heart, but it's gonna to continue to wrap around and feed the posterior portions of the heart. So as you can probably see here, all we're talking about when it comes to a posterior MI is simply that clot or that embolus is not only going to pass through the anterior portions of the right coronary artery, it's gonna get lodged somewhere in the posterior portions of it. And this is just an extension of the right coronary artery here in, again, 80% of people have this extension. So 80% of the people that get posterior MIs, it's an occlusion of the posterior portions of that right coronary artery.